considerably over the past 30 years. From 1980 to 2004, overweight levels in 2 to 17 year olds have increased from 12% to 18%, while obesity levels in the same group have increased from 3% to 8%. A growing percentage of Canadian youth are leading inactive lifestyles as a result of environmental influences such as excessive time in front of television and computer screens, readily available information on the internet or smartphones, greater reliance on car transportation. Research has shown that, on average, physical activity during teenage years declines 7% per year, up to a total of 60 to 70% within a 10 year period. Not being physically active is one of the top causes of overweight and obesity in children and youth. Just under half of all obesity cases in childhood persist into adulthood. In addition to obesity, not being physically active is a high predictor of other chronic diseases in adulthood, such as heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, certain cancers such as colon and breast, bone and joint diseases such as osteoporosis. Physical activity has several benefits in relation to various chronic illnesses. Those who are fit and have other risk factors such as high blood pressure have a higher life expectancy than those who are inactive with no risk factors. 6% reduction in the risk of developing of type 2 diabetes for every increase in energy expenditure of 500 calories per week. 20 to 35% reduction in risk of mortality for those reporting greater physical activity levels. 17% reduction in the risk of depression for those who are involved in moderate intensity physical activity. Example, risk walks and moderate reductions in anxiety. Exercise training programs have been found to prevent 1% of bone loss per year, leading to significant reductions in bone fractures in adulthood. Research indicates that the risk of developing obesity can decline by 4.8% for every addition kilometer of walking and increase by 6% for each additional hour of time spent in a park. It is important for all children and youth to be physically active. According to the guidelines established by the World Health Organization, your child should accumulate no less than 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity physical activity on a daily basis. Greater health benefits are provided to children and youth who are more physically active than the recommendation.
and share. Are we going to forget or it's just for gaining your knowledge? What do you think? Gaining only knowledge? Okay, how to become healthy and strong? So I'm not going to repeat because they have presented, they have shared such a beautiful way. I think it's for all of us, we can remember for many, many days. But remember at the same time, practicing every day. Exercise, eating healthy food, 